hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be talking about something really really important like i used to have this problem of when i finish you know downloading my videos on premiere pro adobe premiere pro i always see huge numbers like i'll see maybe one gig 500 mb and i'm like <laughs> The network providers in Nigeria, they are not that nice. Maybe I should put it this way. If you don't have the right data plan, they are going to like suck your data. That one is even sure. They will suck your data if you don't use the right data plan. And even if you have the right data plan, there's a way that you can, you know, do other things that can help you like reduce the amount of um, data you use and still have the quality that you really, really want. That's why today we're going to be learning how to use Handbrake. So Handbrake is a software for reducing the size of um, video content without, you know, messing up with the quality of the video. I'm going to show you guys how this is done in a bit, but let's get our intro in. Okay, so first up, what we'll do is we are going to download Handbrake. So we're going to go to Google and search for Handbrake. But be careful, some brands are really, really funny. They use other people's um, names to like do an ad and you think it's the normal one. So just make sure you look at it carefully before selecting Handbrake. I'm going to link the link in the description box so you guys can easily like just check it out from there. I already have it on my system, but if you want to download it for the first time, you're going to click this button it's going to automatically like detect the kind of system you're using if you're using a windows or a macbook it's going to automatically detect it and give you the one that best suits your system so once you're done downloading it and installing it we can now move on to what the actual software looks like so because i want to give you guys um, a detailed explanation of what handbrake is i'm going to start by you know going to the settings when I first downloaded this, I didn't even do anything. I didn't know it was an automatic output. So when you download your file, it's going to come out as um, either an MP4 or an M4V. I didn't know it was an automatic and automatic actually goes to M4V. Maybe depending on the system you're using, I don't even know because it was so annoying when I download a video and I see M4V and I'm like, I put an MP4 video. It's supposed to come out as an MP4 video. So why is it coming out as an M4V video? So I realized that it was an automatic and uh, it was so annoying. So I'm going to put you guys through how you can, you know, change it from automatic to an actual MP4 video. So we're going to go to the preferences. We don't need any of all these other settings. I mean, if you want to change your settings based on your preferences, you can go back later and check what each of them, you know, entail. So we're going to go to where the output file is and we're going to change it from automatic to mp4. So once it's on mp4, you're good to go. You can rest assured that it's going to be an mp4 output file that is going to be coming out. So now that we're done with the settings, we can now go into uploading our video. You can easily drag and drop the video or you can just double click and, you know, get to your video easily and just upload it straight from there. Once it's uploaded, we're going to work on the settings. I already have a preset, but because I want you guys to like know everything you need to do, I would be taking you guys through the entire process. So first of all, we need to make it web optimized because we're posting it on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, wherever, that's the web. So we're going to make it web optimized. So we're not necessarily going to change any other thing except you want to change the dimensions or something. So we're going to move to the video settings. Here we have it on 22 automatically, but I feel like 23 is my own sweet spot. It's still like a very, very good quality. It doesn't change anything. So I always use 23 as my sweet spot. And um, the thing is that the less number you pick, the higher the quality. And the higher the number you pick, the lower the quality. I don't know if you guys get what I mean, but you know, that's how it works. So we're going to pick 23 and we're going to pick medium here. I think how it works is the faster it is, the more the MB or something. I don't know how it works, but I don't know if you guys know how this particular aspect works. You guys can comment in the comment section and, you know, enlighten me basically because I still don't get that part. So we're going to start encoding our video. Now, before we encode, we can easily change the name, whatever you want, the folder you want it to be in, just pick it and just click browse and, you know, it will give you the options of picking the folder that you want, the place that you want to save it on. And 
That's just it, so we're going to start encoding. Now, this time you're seeing here is the amount of time it's actually going to use. So if you see 20 minutes, grab something to eat, you know, have that me time. Now we're done encoding our video and we're going to compare the sizes. This is what it was before. This is what it is now. That's like more than half of what it was before. Like it's crazy like from 400 and something to 100 and something i can't even do it and the quality like it's still the same thing let's compare it this is what the original looks like and this is what it is at 23 like there's no difference to me i can't see any difference like i literally can't see any difference it's the same thing no noise no graininess like nothing it's so clean though i won't advise you guys to go beyond 23 maybe if you don't care about the quality of what you're doing you can easily go higher so let's try it let's try it let's try it. if we go to like 40 let's go to 40 and see what it's going to look like we're going to start encoding it's not going to take that long now that we're done downloading at 40 let's compare the quality so this is the original and this is what it looks like at 40. The noise alone is so, so annoying. Like, I can't even stand it. The graininess is so, like, beyond my imagination. I can't even stand it. But if you look at the size, it's so, so drastic. Like, look at what it was before, the original size, and look at it right now. That means if you have, like, a 1 gig video, it's going to reduce drastically to maybe 100 MB or almost 100 MB. It's going to reduce the file size so bad, but the video is going to be so bad as well. So, yes, I won't advise anyone to go beyond 23. I hope this really, really helps you guys. It really helped me and it has helped me through my journey of creating content for Instagram, for Facebook, for YouTube. Do let me know what else you guys would like me to like talk about. I want to help you guys through your content creation journey to like be able to create those contents that you really, really love and still maintain the quality that you want. So Handbrake is like a really, really cool software that I would always recommend anywhere for people to use to create their content. Please don't forget to subscribe, click the bell button so you can get notified when I post videos like this. Comment in the comment section or send me a DM. I'm always ready to reply. And did I, did I say subscribe already? Yes, please subscribe and share this video within and outside your circle so people can also learn and grow in their content creation journey. Yeah, it's still your favorite girl from Nigeria, Lara Savage. Signing out.